What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again, and welcome to episode 27 of Mining Rig Wars. Super stoked that this series has been going on for so long, and thanks for everybody's support. If you'd like to see your rig submitted, of course, you can go email submissions at sonofatech.com or go to our website at sonofatech.com and click the submit your rig button. We are reworking the website and that's going to hopefully help us curate some of the rigs so we get some cleaner pictures and just some prettier images and better rigs for you guys to take a look at. So keep that in mind when you're submitting that we are going to start having some curation being done by you guys, the viewers, and that's going to kind of make it a little bit more challenging for you to actually get featured on the channel but for now we're still going to keep going the same route where i just go by date so just a heads up there if you guys don't mind stopping by twitch.tv slash tech underscore and throwing me a follow over there i'll leave a link to it in the description below i play some games and we talk about random stuff it's a it's a live stream and your support would be awesome over there as well without further ado let's get into episode 27 Welcome back. So if you guys want to vote, you're going to click the little eye up in the corner and there will, there will be a poll, rig A through rig E. Select your favorite rig and that will be the winner that will move on to the finals. We do three episodes with five rigs each and then a finals episode with the three winners from those episodes. Starting things off today, we have rig A, PO Bus by D-Tech. He's rocking three MSI GTX 1052 gigabyte overclocked editions and two more 1050s from Digital Alliance. They're also the two gigabyte editions. Next, he's got the ASRock H81 Pro BTC motherboard, eight gigabytes of DDR3 Crucial RAM, and a Seagate 7200 RPM 320 gigabyte hard drive with a thousand watt power supply to go ahead and round things out. His hash rate's between 700 and 1K solutions a second. Next we have Rig B, the BTC Z rig. So nice shout out to Bitcoin Z there. I don't know the owner's name or anything like that, but he's actually mining BTC Z or an Equihash coin with five Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 580s. He's got the BTC Pro uh, Plus motherboard from ASRock and a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. I find this really interesting primarily due to the fact that typically you would see the RX 580 on Ethereum. I don't know what the hash rates are for it on Equihash. So if you guys know, could you let me know in the comment section below? That's something I haven't tested, curiously enough. Next we have Rig C by Kevin. He's got the D1800 BTC motherboard in this fantastic case here, which looks super duper clean. Also, thanks for the awesome pictures here. He has a 64 gigabyte M.2 drive and four gigabytes of DDR3 clocked at 1600 megahertz. The power supply is 1650 watts and three fans that go up to 5,000 RPMs. The cards are the Sapphire Pulse Edition RX 580 eight gigabytes, and his total hash rate is gonna be somewhere between 180 and 200 mega hash a second. He didn't clarify, I don't know what kind of BIOS modifications he's done, and there could be some cooling issues as all those cables are kind of blocking the airflow from the front five fans. Next we have Rig D, Stefan, and he's rocking the ASRock H110 Pro BTC motherboard with an Intel Pentium G4400 processor, 8GB of crucial memory clocked at 2400 megahertz, a SanDisk SSD uh, plus 120GB for the OS, the EVGA 1080 Ti, and a Gigabyte 1080. The power supply is the Corsair CX750 with a 7 inch monitor that you can pull off of the, I guess it's for Raspberry Pis to clarify there. Now, I'm not sure exactly what his total hash rate is here because he didn't list it and I'm not sure exactly what he's mining. However, I will say that I do like that monitor most of all. We do see two more uh, risers there ready to go ahead and expand to more GPUs. Finally, we have Riggy Overkill by Corey. He's rocking the Mint Cell Titan 8 case with the Asus Prime Z270P motherboard and i5 something. When he bought this, I guess uh, Micro Center was out of the Pentiums, and that makes sense because he bought it around the time when everything was going crazy as far as finding parts for mining rigs. He's got the Samsung SSD with uh, four sticks of four gigabytes 
Corsair 3600 DDR4. That's some crazy fast memory for a mining rig. Eight uh, EVGA 1080 Ti for the win. Three editions with eight mint cell six power PCIe risers. And he's got two EVGA Supernova 1600 watt power supplies. Total hash rate is 6.22 uh, kilosolutions a second. If I can talk there. Going back through these. Corey, I don't think you need that memory at all. That's crazy. I want to know the story behind buying 3600 megahertz memory. It's not even necessary on a gaming rig with Intel, so that's that's nuts. That's just... That's crazy. And that sounds expensive. It sounds super expensive. Next we have Rig D, Stefan. And here, what I would like to see is, you know, what he's going to do with the expansion. I'd like to see uh, a better, probably even with only the 1080 Ti and the 1080, a higher efficiency power supply uh, other than the CX750, just because you would start pushing that CX750 pretty hard, even with just those two cards. So you want to be kind of careful there. Other than that, I like the idea of using the Raspberry Pi monitor. I don't personally put any monitors on any of my mining rigs. I just control them all remotely with either um, SSH session or something along those lines. Sally sells SSH sessions down by the seashore. Going back over Kevin's rig, I think I already stated this, but my biggest concern is being able to move the air from the front of the case through the graphics cards. Now those sapphires also aren't the blower style, so they are dumping pretty much all of that heat into the case and if you don't have any exhaust which it doesn't at this point it's going to be hard to move that hot air out especially with the hindrance of course on those intakes uh, with the extra cables in front of them so i really like the design i think that it looks really really clean but i think if you were going to build in this case you would want to get blower style coolers uh, and yes that's going to be loud but that's going to be how you want to have it working so it would suck the air in and the blower style pushes the air out the rear. In this case you're going to have heating issues. Now the BTC Z rig also is rocking one of those fancy 4U cases or server mounted cases here. He's got the the RX 580s mining BTC Z. At this point because of the way the mining market is I don't know if he still is mining BTC Z but I would move to Ethereum. You're going to get a better profitability you're going to be into a coin that also has you know a, lo a longer lifespan and you want to get some of that as fast as possible before they go into proof of stake in my humble opinion so here my biggest complaint is picking up picking up essentially a coin that people are going to want with it and min maxing by giving your cards the best advantage and the best algo that they're good at other than that i would say you know it does look like a rat's nest over that motherboard Finally, Rig A, the PO bus, the cards are good. The coin that he chose, perfect. The motherboard is going to allow him to go up in a, with a few more cards. I think he has two, four, six in there currently. And you could go up to, you know, eight with that motherboard, I believe it is. And so that would be super cool. Other than that, I really have no real complaints. It looks like a bread rack sort of on the bottom there. So I would like to know more about the case and how that functions and so on and so forth. The hard drive is a repurposed hard drive, I'm assuming. So good job on that, saving some money and everything. Yeah, everything's good there. There you go. Once again, the rat's nest. I would recommend just cleaning up your cables, guys, especially before you submit that away. We can have some prettier looking rigs. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Once again, come check me out on twitch.tv slash sonofatech underscore. I'm also on Twitter at sonofatech. Check out our Discord in the description below if you want to come chat, if you have questions, if you need help with something. We have a whole bunch of knowledgeable members over there that will get you up and running in the right way and the best way possible. I'll see you next Tuesday.